When I pull up on you, then I might swear, ay. Dribble off deuce, deuce, ay. That you might work, ay. When I pull up on you, then I might swear, ay. Dribble off deuce, deuce, ay. That you might work, ay. That you might work. Welcome back to another episode of the Michelle Matters Podcast. I'm Jocks Michelle. And I'm Jackie Michelle. What's up? What's up? Hi, guys. Welcome back. Yeah. Huh? Episode 14. Yes. Back for another one. Mm-hmm. Um, quick recap of the last two weeks. What's happened? We went on a trip to Orlando. Yeah. That was after the my trip to Atlanta. Yeah. Back to back. Yeah. Um, a lot of PTO. But, um. Not really. Anyway, <laughs> but yeah, so that was, it was a pretty good trip. Yeah. It was quick. It was nice. Um, got to spend time with a lot of our friends. Uh, it was about two, three. Yeah, it was a lot of people there. <laughs> uh, just pretty much, you know, close friends celebrating a birthday. Um, we yeah. stayed in a, a really nice Airbnb in Orlando. Mm-hmm. Um, definitely would go back. Yeah. It and it fun. was just fun, yeah. Yeah, catching up. Like, it's been a while since we've all been under the same house like that. Yeah. Um, and then literally one of the couples that was there had their baby the next day. Yeah. <laughs> so. It was crazy. Yeah. And it was funny because the, maybe one of the nights, the last nights we were there, we played, well, they played. I didn't play. The Just Dance game or whatever. Oh, And yeah. everybody kept saying, like, you know, you keep dancing like that, the baby going to come out. <laughs> Yeah. And literally, she had the baby like two days later. No, the next day. No, it was two days. You sure? Yeah, man. I got this. It was two days later. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so congratulations to uh, Sarah and Jojo on the proud delivery of their baby boy. Yeah. Um, young King was born, so shout out to them. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, it was a good time. Uh, came back, of course. I had to go back to work. Um, did something else important happen? I don't remember. I don't think so. But you have another work trip. Oh, yeah. I mean, you have a work trip. Yeah, so this week I'm going to be heading out to uh, out of town for a trip um, for work. A couple of days. Huh? So, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> this is starting to become a habit. It's funny because before you left, I was like so hyped for you to leave. Mm-hmm. And then you left and I was like, I'm right here by myself. Yeah. I wasn't used to it. So... Um, I feel like the first few hours are Oh, I definitely enjoy it. I definitely. But the first few hours, it feels like, oh, you know, it's like, it's like when you go to the grocery store and you be gone for a long time. (laughs) But then I was like, oh, she's not coming back. (laughs) So I had to get used to it. I'm definitely Um, gonna have my body pillow, like, on the bed. Yeah, but he ain't me. Okay. And then, I don't know. It's gonna be great. Like, it's going to be great before I fall asleep. And then I'm going to wake up in the morning. That's like, going to say a lot about our relationship. What? Because, like, I, I, I like, kind of missed you when you was gone. No, I I think I'm going to miss you, You don't too. sound like You got to sound. <laughs> I need you to sound like it. I'm pretty sure I'm going to miss you, too. But I think those first few hours of sleep are going to be amazing. Oh, no, no. Trust me. Yeah. The sleep part was fine. Yeah. Once I went to sleep, I was fine. Not like, really. You frightened for the um, podcast because you were like, oh, I, I couldn't sleep. I didn't no, sleep no, 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 no. Because you were here. I didn't want to go to sleep mm-hmm. at first because it felt weird. I'm used to going to sleep with you. But once I actually like made up my mind to go to bed, I was good. Yeah. Like, I got to stretch out. I didn't have, you know, no feet on me. It was, it was good sleep, though. <laughs> it was good sleep. Okay. But, um... Yeah, but yeah, just gonna catch up on the shows that I like to watch and you don't, and hopefully fall asleep that way. Yeah, you can enjoy that. Um, yeah. So I think that's pretty much it. Mm-hmm. Uh, this next episode or this episode is gonna be a little different, so I think we should try to keep this short. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I guess we'll jump into the Michelle matter. Yes. All right. Cool. Let's do that. So for this week's Listener Matter, um, we're going to switch it up a little bit. Uh, We actually interviewed um, my sister a couple episodes back. My sister. She can have her. Um, (laughs) So this time it's actually going to be reversed. She's going to interview us. 
Yeah, I don't know why she just decided to ask us some relationship questions. I yeah, guess. her and my brother actually always, for some reason, have questions for us. So we kind of like, oh, let's turn it into an episode. So yeah. um, they both came up with a few questions, and um, we don't really have a idea of where this could go. So um, this may be edited. Um, <laughs> but uh, no, nah, we're open to answer anything pretty much. Um, they know us pretty well, so I'm interested to know what they want to know about us since I feel like they already know us. Um, but yeah. Hi, Judy. Hi, everyone. Buenos nachos. Good to be <laughs> here today. If you don't know my sister, she's definitely using her customer service voice right yeah. now. Yeah. Definitely. She has two voices, her at-home voice and her customer yes, service voice. I have voice. my Walmart voice and my Target voice. Yeah. So, today is my Target voice. Yeah. Um. All right. So I guess where do you want to start? Or what? I guess lead off with like, why did you want to do this? Yeah. Well, I'm glad you asked. Um. So, you know, I'm always bragging on you guys and I always feel as though your relationship is one of the relationships that I, I aspire to have. Being that I know both of you, I'm fortunate enough to know both of you and kind of know your temperaments. And so based off of that and also just seeing you work as a dynamic, I always tell myself if I get married, I want to have a relationship like you all. Now, when I brag on you a lot of times, what I get, especially since I say how well you guys work together as a unit, that everyone tells me, well, that's just what you see behind closed doors. It could be a completely different story, which is understood, you know. As human beings behind closed doors, sometimes we are different individually. But even even though behind closed doors it may come up across as there might be more to, to what the eye sees, I'm a firm believer, and I'm going to find out if I'm wrong today, <laughs> that your worst argument is probably a lot of couples' best argument. Oh, man. I, I guess when you say that, I mean, like, it's the way we handle our arguments. Yeah. Well... We'll see. The way that, yeah, we'll see. The way, just from how I look at you guys and how how you guys interact with each other respectfully, it doesn't appear that you try really hard to pretend like you like each other when you're not behind closed doors. Like when you're in public, like you're putting on a front. Yeah. Either you're really great actors or you just guys have something good going on and I want to find out. Okay. So I was like, I would love to ask you questions and I, you know, you have a podcast. This is a great opportunity to. To let other people maybe have a little insider look into how you guys make the magic work. So, yeah. we are today. I'm not worried about your questions. This is the questions Nick gave you. Those are the ones I'm worried about. You know, Nicholas and I were pretty much on the same page for the most part. He was more reserved than I was. Oh, this is going to be Because wow. he feels that some questions that I wanted to ask were, were too ratchet. Oh, <laughs> <God>. <laughs> and that um, those are questions that you'll ask. I don't want to say more rap. Say what you got to say. Say it. Not y'all. Mm-hmm. Not as ratchety. People? Yeah. There I you mean, go. <laughs> because some of the questions, I was like, well, I've done it, so apparently I'm ratchet. <laughs> and I'm okay with that because at the time, that served the purpose it needed to serve. <laughs> so if we're going to have a conversation, I've got to be 100 with it. Okay. Okay. So, well, then I'll lead off with the ratchet question that he didn't think I should ask, <laughs> <laughs> which is- Why not? Hanging up on each other. Have you ever <laughs> hung up on each other? Like after, like during an argument? Yeah, uh-huh. like not in a play play kind of way. Like, oh, I'm done with you I right now. This conversation is over. Jackie oh. has. I don't remember. It's been a long time, but Jackie did. We were in like high school though. Oh, see, because I was about, I told you, I was like, I don't remember hanging up on yeah. you ever. So, why um, did I hang up on you in high school? I really don't remember. I just remember I was, I was mad. <laughs> I don't remember. It's so long. It's been so long. And then I guess for like me, that's like not something I don't know. I just feel like that's disrespectful. Yeah. And I wouldn't do it today. Yeah, and I feel like the today's version of the hang up is so weak. Like back in the day you could like <laughs> yeah, you slam, the slam the phone on the receiver. Yeah. Now it's like I'm gonna hit the end button so hard. Like it's not it's, Fair. it's not the same. It don't hit hard. Yeah. Hanging up on people don't mean the same anymore. I feel like today that would be like the ignore button. Yeah, like I, okay, that's but I that's don't ignore his calls because I I don't know like something could be happening. Yeah, you know. I guess that as a miracle, but like even if we're in an argument, I can't ignore because like I always say like 
my one job is to, like keep Jackie safe, right? Like alive. Man, yeah, keep Jackie alive. Like <laughs> I feel like I'm that's the question I'm gonna have to answer to her mom or whatever. Like if Jackie's dead or something, like, what did you do? <laughs> How did you let my daughter die? Interesting. You sound like mom a little bit. What? <laughs> Here's why. <laughs> Because you know how she's she's very protective in in terms of she would always say okay if you don't tell me where you're going and the police ask me so where did uh, they yeah go? I'm that guy. I look you I'm that guy yeah well, where did I'm they go guy. and I can't tell you then I look like I don't care and a bad parent yeah so I'm that guy. my job is so I guess like once you said that you're like if they ask me yeah no, no. No. To say. exactly. Yeah, like, 100%. That sounds like, I'm that that sounds like mom and her rationale. It's true. Huh? You are that guy. Because okay. even if we go out of town, he makes sure to tell your mom, like, yeah, we're going this place, this date. And, like, for me, I'll be like, oh, I'm not going to be here this weekend, like, to my mom. Mm-hmm. And she's like, oh, okay, when are you coming back? Nah, like, my mom want to know. Because I never forget, especially because, like, if I tell, like, hey, mom, I'm going to Tampa, right? If she watches the news and they say anything happened in Tampa, she gonna call me. She's like, "Are you okay? What, what, is that where you were?" Right. Like, no, mom. I was yada yada. So it's kind of I kind of kept that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, and, and that's not a bad thing because I I do that too. Like you know, especially in the line of work that you you and dad are in, when I hear about a construction yeah. thing that happens, I'm like, oh, I need to find out if my brother and my dad are okay. Yeah. Mm. So okay, you get a pass on that. <laughs> yeah, we don't hang hang up on people. Yeah, no, don't huh? be hanging up. That's, on I can't lie. That's really disrespectful. Yeah, yeah. That's really disrespectful. It low key is. Yeah. So, so you, you used to hang. I guess it's not us. <laughs> you. I'm used to doing it the other way around. You know what it is? I don't like yelling. Yeah. So you rather just yeah, not deal just with the up. problem? I'm gonna hang up on it because <laughs> if we're talking in circles, the conversation is over. Yeah. There's only so much I can say. Okay. 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 That's like slamming doors and stuff. Yeah. We don't do that. And our doors don't really slam that well. Yeah. It, take, it's yeah, a it takes a while. Yeah. yeah. Our doors don't really slam that well. Yeah. I've tried. Okay. Well, since we're on that, before I go to my next question, I'll, I'll piggyback because that was one of the questions. Do you raise your voice at each other? Or is that a thing? Like, how do you handle <laughs> talking to each other? Like, like I feel child? like Jock speaks loud, right? They, if you ask Nick, I have a coach voice all so the time. Like he feels like I'm always. You yelling. don't turn it off. Like, but I don't think I'm yelling. But it's not like a yell because you can tell when it's like a disrespectful yell or if it's just like you just loud. Like, why are you loud? We're in the middle of Olive Garden right now. Like, <laughs> um, but no, I think so. If I raise my voice, he'll be quick to be like, "Okay, we're not doing that right yeah, now." Inside voice. <laughs> we're not gonna do that. So then, like, I'll have that one sentence that was loud, and then the rest of the conversation was like, we're talking to each other because he brings me back. Yeah. Or, like, I bring him back. Like, who yeah. are you talking to? Yeah. yeah, yeah I say, a lot, I say it's that. It's a lot of that. It's a lot of that. Yeah. It's like, you quick to, don't forget. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you still my wife. <laughs> like, bring it down. Like, bring it down and not. Yeah, I say that, too. All the time. But yeah. the, the thing is. I think you more so you just lowering my volume because like it could be a facial expression it could be yeah. anything like just I don't I don't know when I talk loud you tell me when I talk loud yeah so yeah you do talk loud but I think I, <laughs> once again like it's traits I picked up like the other day I was talking to mom and she said I was talking loud and I was like I was only talking loud because I feel like that's the only way you would listen to me because <laughs> my mom don't take breaths in between sentences so no, she doesn't if I don't raise my voice she won't stop talking but I don't communicate you the right. same way your mom communicates but I think it just happens yeah so but I don't really like like but when you say raise it I think you mean like in a heat of an argument yelling at each other like no, no, going no. at it no just no people, just raise like like you like how. You speak to London when you're trying to correct her. <laughs> nah. Yeah, no. No. I'm not a child. Because, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's one of my main things. Don't disrespect me. Because even if I... Even if I'm not talking loud or yelling or something, it could be the way I say something. Like, it could be like, so you mean to tell me you did whatever? Like, as if I'm talking to London. Like, don't talk to me. He'll yeah. say, like, don't talk to me like I'm a child. Like, I understand what you're saying. 100%. Yeah. <laughs> and it's because... Like, when you have that slow talk, like, <laughs> do you understand? <laughs> yeah, don't... Because <laughs> I'm, I'm big on, like, if I don't do it to you, don't do it to me. Yeah. Like, and I just... I remember we had a teacher, and it was a substitute teacher, and she had, like, two rules. Oh, my gosh. Everybody know the rules. This means people's. Yeah. I it was... Exactly. Number one, don't say dang. And number two... Don't try me. <laughs> <laughs> and 
And I respect that. <laughs> Don't try me. Yeah. So, I think a lot of it is like, it's just respect, man. Like, talk to me like a, re- like a regular person. Yeah. I'm going to talk to you like a regular How person. How you want to be talked to. Are we going to disagree? Maybe. Like, can we yeah. get back to like a resolution? Yeah, but we're going to do it as normally as possible. Because... I think that's one of the keys to to like conflict resolution is like if I respect you as a person, then I'll probably respect your opinion. Um, so I think that's a good place to start at least. Yeah. Like talk mm-hmm. to me civilly. Maybe we can get somewhere with it. I don't think two heads button is gonna work. Yeah. Interesting. So pig, did you have something? Mm-hmm. So piggybacking mm-hmm. off of that, which was another question. So we're we're working our way down here. <laughs> um. It's not what you say, it's how you say it, right? 100%. I'm a firm believer in that. You know, if if someone doesn't look so nice in an outfit, right? I mean, you still want to be honest, but if they're like, how do, how do I look in this? Rather than saying, well, you kind of look like trash. You can say, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I, I think I like the other outfit better. Yeah, I hope nobody ever told you that. But... <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. No, um, she never looks like trash. How do you, do you guys sorry. do that? Are you conscious that you do it? Is that something that you guys incorporate in your relationship with the, what do you think about this? And you low-key mm-hmm. kind of think it's trash, but you can't, you can't really say it. I don't know. It could be like about anything. I don't anything, feel like yeah, a, anything. I don't a feel is like. Ass, but you want to be honest. I usually just be like. You don't want to change those shorts yeah, or something like that's that? that's the only thing. Jackie says things in a nice but not nice way. Like, <laughs> it's not nice, but she says it in a nice way. She's like, you sure that's what you want to wear? <laughs> <laughs> I know what that means. Like, Or, I would keep it a buck, right? So, she'll be like, oh. <laughs> I don't know where you're uh, going. Right? It'd be like early, right? I'm gonna just, <laughs> It'd be like early. And she's like, you brush your teeth? <laughs> oh. <laughs> She hit you with the yeah, button. I'm you on top? And I'm just right like, now. oh. It's <laughs> like you got a lot on your mind. Yeah. <laughs> but sometimes I just ask. Like, it's not even like your breath is stink. Sometimes it is. But, but it's how you say it. <laughs> it's how you say it. You, you brush your teeth? Bro? Like, oh, you, you know you know that face. So that. you saying, <laughs> yeah. <that> breath stink? <laughs> so I'm like, okay. But like, in that sense, yeah, it's how, it's just all about how you say it, yeah. and it depends. But it's also to the point too. Like, I'm learning to understand that's how Jackie talks, mm-hmm. <laughs> so I try not to take it as personally anymore. Yeah, because I know she's trying to like, she's trying to say something, but she's not trying to say it like that. So I, I kind of pick up hints now. Yeah, but I, I still take it personal sometimes. You be hearing? I don't know. I mean, that's really the only thing I say like that. No, nah, I mean, there's, there's a lot of other things. I don't. Or like, if he does a graphic for something, mm-hmm. I just, I don't know. I'm just like upfront with it. Like, yeah, like I should, think it's missing something here. I think you should move that down there. I think, I think the color's wrong. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't say that. But yeah, no, like I wouldn't say like you look trash. <laughs> like, that's, yeah, that's that that's just for yeah, that's mean. Okay, fair yeah. enough. So then. That answers that. So my <laughs> next question to you is, how do you handle being in disagreement? Hmm. It depends. I have to think of our latest. Yeah. Like, okay. Well, let me let me be a little bit more pointed. Um, if someone, we'll get back to that. Let me go to this other question. We might work our way into it from there. Right. Yeah. Let's Who apologizes Walters. first? Me. The wrongdoer or the Me. peacemaker? No. Jocks, Michelle. No. Jocks, Henry, Michelle. That's not true. Okay. That's not true. Uh, I, I right think. Now, tell so them why I'm wrong. <laughs> oh, I see what you did there. Okay. okay. Um, I don't think you apologize first, though. Not all the time. Like sometimes I'll be like, you know what? You're right. Like my bad. But see, it's but, a different. <laughs> different times, like you're right and saying I'm sorry. No, well, yeah, we apologize different. Yeah. So it depends. Like what it for is. me, it'll take me a while to like see. Okay, like the come around, you know, the full circle. Really? Yeah. Oh, I'm surprised. Really? I feel like you'd be like, you know what? No. This one? No, no. Yeah. No. <laughs> That's me, 100. percent No, I gotta like think about it and like go throughout the day kind of thing and then I'm like oh shoot 
Yeah, he was right about that. And then I'll text you or then I'll yeah. call you or whatever. But that's because I'm like the conflict resolution guy. If yeah, we like have a problem, yeah, I'm trying to fix it right now. Like, yeah, I'm not like that. I'm not trying to let this linger. And it's one of those like, I hate when Jackie tells us we need to talk, right? No, whatever you got to tell me, tell me right now. I do not want this to I linger. Do, I need like 30 minutes. Nah, I don't need that. So that's why I'm typically the one that's like saying I'm sorry or apologizing first because it gets me to come around. It. Yeah, let's fix it. Let's let's start the conversation. If mm-hmm. I say that, I know the conversation could start. And but I feel like if I don't, it's gonna bother me. It's gonna eat at me. I'm not gonna be able to do nothing because that's how I am. Like if I'm nervous or if I got a problem, I don't do anything until like the problem is solved. So or it's I don't know. Like if I'm nervous, I just I can't do anything until. The issue is finished. So, like, like if, okay, so, like, at Sap's wedding or something, I had to give the speech. I couldn't eat. I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't dance. I literally just sat there till I gave the best man speech. Just because, like, it just was sitting on me. Like, yeah. so I, I'm not, I don't deal well with stuff like that until the, the problem or issue is solved. But that's not a problem. That's just, like, nerves. I feel like my nerves bad when you tell, me, <laughs> yeah, you tell me we got a problem. Like, it's just... Is she mad at me? How long is she gonna be mad at me? <laughs> I gotta fit. I can't. I can't let. I can't let that linger. Yeah, it's just not in me. So then, with that being said, how long is too long to be mad at something? We do usually, you have a time frame where you? We don't or, have a time frame, but like he said, like he's usually trying to <sighs> fix it. You know, ASAP. Yeah. Like we don't but, let things just linger. Yeah, but Jackie's not like that either. So sometimes I gotta. I got a stew while she yeah. comes around. Cause. Like, there was a... Okay, so there was a situation where I was actually, like, really mad at him. Because it was just... He just did something really stupid. <laughs> like, oh. no, it wasn't no probably. <laughs> he did something really stupid where it was like, you know, finances were involved. <laughs> and, like... Okay. Yeah. yeah, and I didn't really know about it. Yeah. This is before we was on our... our, our yeah, that was... That was what kicked off like living debt free and all that stuff yeah and getting that in order but once i found out i was like all right i let me wait till he get home and then <laughs> i had all my facts and i had cooked dinner and everything already and then we talked about it and i was like so this is what's gonna happen right so i already had a plan and by then i was like we're gonna pay this off and it's gonna take this amount of time and I'm going to be the one doing the budgets, and we're gonna have a meeting every month about the budget. Like, yeah, but it's, you make it sound like, like, listen, buddy. No, 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 no. not happen. like again, not like you're a child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But That's I had to bad. be like, so why am I just finding out about this now? Like, no. you know, different stuff. We had to actually really talk about it and figure it out that day. Because, like, what sense does it make? To talk about it over a course of like three months, like just figure it out. Because you could have sat there and been it. mad about it and like yeah. not told me you were mad. Yeah. Which which can happen. I can see how that happens, but uh, I feel like yeah, that was one of those. First of all, I couldn't run. I couldn't go nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, it was waiting for me when I got home. Right. So first, I had to sit there and take it. <laughs> I knew I was wrong. I couldn't do nothing. So yeah, we talked about it. Yeah. Um, but. I want to say early in the, the marriage. Yeah, that was really early. That was probably like a year in. Yeah. early, But early in our marriage, too, it used to be like, we'll have an argument. And it's just the two of us in the house. You know, it's not big, big, but you could get away. Like, yeah. like I, I go like to my I side to of the house. Like, I just come into this office. Yeah. Because we had separate offices. At the time, yeah. At the time. And then I used to just come in here and just, like, work or, you know, mind my business because I didn't have to deal with it. But then he'd just be like, "Can you get out now so we yeah. can talk about it?" Because <laughs> like, I and feel like now the, longer we're the worse the problem gets. But in Jackie's mind, it gave her more time to think. Yeah, you just gotta learn each other and how each of you deals with issues. Yeah, and try to condense it down into okay. I know Jackie needs a few minutes. Let me give her some time. Like, but at the same time, Jackie, I don't know. I know he wants to talk about this, yeah. so I can't take forever to gather my own thoughts. And then we'll come back together. We'll figure it out. So it's kind of just working through it. And I, mean, and I had to learn that wasn't the right way to handle it. Yeah. 
And so now we share an office. So there's really nowhere to hide. <laughs> nah, it's still a place to hide. We just there don't is. do it. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty big. There's yeah. still places you can hide. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little nook. That's true. That's she my definitely favorite place. There. She definitely goes in there. <laughs> Not to hide, though. Yeah. Sometimes. I don't know. But anyway. Okay, then, so then I think I may know how you feel about it. But just to ask for anyone listening, what are your thoughts on sleeping on the couch? No. <laughs> Uh, I pay too much to sleep on the couch. That's my I, I fall asleep on the couch mm-hmm. and then like, like go sleep let's on go the couch. Too bad. Listen, I ain't gonna lie. This is gonna be a quick one. I work too hard to sleep on yeah, the couch. It's not gonna happen. Ain't nobody putting me on no couch. Me neither. Okay. That's the couch it's, it's really sleep. comfortable though. It is. I do. I like a couch. Mm-hmm. I think I've comfortable couch. Sleep on it before. <laughs> but, but I paid okay. too much money for my king size bed to yeah. sleep on the couch. No. And and but but in like all seriousness, I think. It's another one of those that's just letting the problem linger. Like, yeah, it's not solving the issue. I feel like it's making the issue worse. Yeah. Deal with it. I'd rather deal with it than, than sleep, honestly. Like, we'll that's figure true. it out. And then, if anything, I mean, we'll lay in the bed. We'll have our backs turned to something. But in the morning, Not we even then. Yeah, because you, you all up under me when we sleep. But. Okay, next question. Because <laughs> <laughs> so, we're, we're done here. Yeah, no, nah, you can't. It, sleeping on the couch and like having your backs turned in bed is like the same thing to me. You're right, you know. So you're you right. can't That's be true. like hot and whatever at each other and then wake up the next morning thinking, oh, okay, it's a new morning, it's gonna be yeah. great. Like, no, we're gonna deal with this. Yeah, we've had many uh, uh, late like, but talks it was in never like oh, okay. to, to figure it out. I don't know who came up with this sleep on the couch thing. I don't know where that yeah, came it's from. It's a thing though. It is. I, I heard because if that you're it's mad thing. enough that. It's like I don't I don't want you in my space right now. Even if you know I don't tell you to sleep, but I'd rather go sleep on the couch. I'm not gonna tell you. I'll just be like, <laughs> I don't wanna be around you right now. But I guess to me it's like, okay, so when is it the point where even the couch is not enough, you gotta leave the house. Right. Like, and see, I feel and like that, it can escalate. Some people do be like, Okay, I'm about to take a drive and then they end yeah, up at I feel like it can escalate. with a pitcher of beer and, and Yeah. Know. It starts off with a, a couch <laughs> and then it's you in the car and next thing you know you in a hotel or like no. I feel like it could escalate from there. Yeah. We'll see with that, because I, I believe that that was another thing that we kinda talked about but didn't didn't add. So since you guys brought it up, because Nick, Nicholas and I talked about it, we were like, yeah, I don't know if that's a thing, but you brought it up, so I'm gonna ask. Okay. Um is there such a thing as for example, if you were to be like, okay, if it's a situation you're passionate enough about that both of you don't feel that you're gonna move on the on the topic like you're you're both very passionate in your answer to this, so you don't talk two days or so. Like, is there ever a time where you're so mad that you don't communicate, and it it kind of low key opens the door for a situation? Like, okay, well, I'm not talking to you, so I'm gonna talk to somebody else. Nah, I don't think it's gotten that bad. We um, I've never not talked to you. No, nah, I feel like it's been like, you know how we go two days. No, no, that's ridiculous. Two days too far. <laughs> what? Two days too far. But like, and it gets to the point where I, eventually I feel the tension. It's quiet. I just be like, yeah, that's so a span you know of like an hour. Nah, nah, be, I, I can go longer than that. Or maybe it's a work day. But I'm saying and you I'll feel hit you it in a work day. No, like if I come home and you feel it, it'll take you like. Maybe two hours to be like, yeah. you straight? Like, why are you acting like this? But two days? Yeah. That's never happened. I think like, because of our temp- is I think you said a lot. A lot of it is our temperament. But, like, we're our lives are so involved in yeah. each other. I can't see it happening. Like, we don't live two separate lives like that. Right. Where it's like, I came home and then I went in the room and I didn't have to talk to her. Like, That's easy if you're, like, together. dating. Yeah, we eat together. We... Sleep in the same room, like it's hard to avoid each other, let alone conversation for that long. Yeah. So I can, if you like to a point where maybe you live separate lives mm-hmm. as far as we don't eat at the same time, um, mm-hmm. we come home at different times, and then we have our own different like conflicting schedules. Though? Yeah, no, that's crazy. How? But the only thing is though, I've seen it happen, so you just have to wonder. Like, I'm always like... I don't think you've seen that happen. No, I've, trust me. <laughs> I've seen it happen. <laughs> I, think, I think... But you know why? I think it's just us two in the house. 
Yeah. Like and our and like you said, our schedules are very you know intertwined. So if we had I don't know like five kids or something, I could see. Okay, well I have my hands filled with these other three. Yeah. He could take these two or whatever. Like we're not going to speak. But for I've two seen days. it happen in an empty nest too. I think. <laughs> I think the only thing is, though, is, like, I have a healthy fear of possibilities. Like, the possibility is there. Because at work, even, you know, a lot of my coworkers, they'll tell me, you know, I'll say, like, there's a few things they'll, they'll talk about. I'm like, I can't see that happening with me and my wife. And their response is always like, oh, just keep living. Yeah, you have Like, just keep living. You'll see it's possible. Like, so mm-hmm. I think it's that healthy fear of what's possible is why I think now I'm very adamant about like working on fixing that stuff now. Like not getting, getting bad habits, not talking to each other, sleeping on the couch. Um, just trying to work on that now because anything is possible, man. I, I think it could happen. But That's crazy. I'm going to do everything in my power for it not to happen now. So I think a lot of it, maybe people just didn't think it could get that bad. I think it could get that bad because I've seen it get that bad. Mm-mm. I've seen it get that bad and worse. Yeah, two yeah. days is like, oh, that's nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we weekend. know people who sleep in different rooms. And the only time that would happen is if like I'm out of town and he's not with me, and that's only happened twice. Yeah, and like we still talk while I'm out of town. Yeah. So, but it wasn't like on some angry stuff. No, it wasn't. Like it's, it's just, just kind of like, yeah. hey, good morning. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay. So the next question. Uh, is what roles do your friends play in your relationship? Mm. How much do they know? Mm. Mm. That's a good question. Isn't it? Though? I don't know. Because I feel like... <laughs> you could credit Nick on I, that one. <laughs> that is a Nick question. I don't... I mean, even like my best friend will tell you. Mary Beth will tell you she don't know much about our relationship. Like ever since high school. She's done little things, you know? Yeah. But... Yeah, no. Like, yeah. what? No, no, no. I don't tell my business. Like, yeah. I've just been a very, I'm a very I, private person. And I appreciate that. Cause but I don't know what you tell your friends. Like, I don't know. I mean, if if I ask you, you think we don't talk about nothing. So You're right. So, <laughs> it depends which friend it is, too. Yeah. Um, Like, you'll tell different things to different people. Yeah. Some questions I could have, or some conversations I could have in a group chat. Some I can't. Um... But I think for the most part, like, I don't know if if our friends are necessarily involved in our relationship. I think the... They play a role. Yeah, they they do play a role, though, but they're not, like, they don't know every little detail about us. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, we all, I feel like we're, for the most part, kind of open or we have certain discussions. Yeah, they're good Um, for that. Yeah, we bounce ideas off each other. Yeah. So, I think they do play a role in that sense. Mm -hmm. But... I don't think anybody like plays a negative role in our relationship because we don't let them. No. We don't tell them enough to maybe work uh, against us or to to like you know cause division between the two of us. Because I, I, I've I've seen that too or heard of that too where friends can cause problems in people's relationship. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. I mean, accountability is there if we need it. Mm-hmm. You know. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, I think That's for a that, good question. Yeah, it is, but I, I think for it to be more of an issue, we'd have to be more open, and I don't think we let that many people in. I think if we had like legit problems, like sitting, you know, sleeping on the couch type issues, yeah, hanging we up would, the phone. yeah, hanging up yeah, the phone. We yeah. arguing now whenever we're out in public with them and stuff. Somebody it would have to know. come out, yeah. yeah. And and they would play even more of a major role. Yeah. But as of right now, it's just kind of like, I don't know, just like the day-to-day type stuff. Or like we have chats about, you know, our chat discussions about just like random things. Like, hey, if this happened to you, you know, this happened to this celebrity or this celebrity put this in her song. Would y'all do that? Or like, yeah. isn't that crazy or whatever? Yeah. But, and I think just like we kind of talked about in a mental health episode, um, I would hope. If things got that bad, I would be open enough to tell, like, a friend that I trust. Yeah. Because um, I could, you know, people shut down sometimes stuff like that. Yeah. So, I kind of hope that me, myself, personally, I'd be open to it. 
Yeah. But yeah. Okay, so then to piggyback off of that one, you like that question, I'm, I'm piggybacking. <laughs> just, just roll with it. How do you handle advice from single friends, or do you accept advice from single friends, <laughs> or do you consider that they? I don't know. How do you handle it? You take it from there. You tell me. He don't really have a lot of single friends. I mean, I have single friends. Yeah, you do. Oh. There's um, nothing wrong with being single. Yeah, you're, you're right. My bad. Thank you. I didn't say there was. But... I know. I'm just reminding you. Okay. I yeah. I don't know. I mean, but they do give a lot of you know insight on different things. Um, I don't have a problem with getting advice from them though. Yeah, I feel like my single friends ask me for advice. It may not always be about relationship stuff, but like I get inv- advice from them about tons of different things, like. And even relationship stuff. Like, sometimes they're, they're just like, yeah, you tripping. Like, that's not really no big deal. Like, I've dealt with worse. <laughs> like, I'm like, okay. And I don't know. I don't have a problem. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I don't really have that many single friends. Um, but the ones I do have, I think I would take advice from them, though. Um, just because I, I keep good company, I guess. I don't know how to say it like that, but I try to keep good company. So, I would take advice from them. Like, only, like, I feel like my single friends have really good date advice. Like, as far as, like, going on dates, because they really go on dates. So, <laughs> so I feel like, no, because my married friends, I feel like their dates suck. Like, yeah. you know, because they married. Just talking right. about that, too. So, I feel like. First dates. Yes, yeah, so I feel like single people be coming up with the good ideas. Right. On dates. Okay. Yeah. So, so, yeah, I would definitely yeah. take some, some advice like that. Yeah. I mean, even like single, yeah, I I take it. I'm sure. I mean, I talk I talk to you all the time. Yeah, very, very single. <laughs> like I don't and know. I always have advice. Yeah, okay. we just bounce off of each other. So okay, well, you know where I'm going with this. Piggybacking mm-hmm. off of that, what's the worst advice you've gotten from friends? Not grown ups. No, oh, not grown ups. Friends from friends. Since you've been married, not dating. Or have any of your friends ever given you advice that if you followed it? it It's one of those things that, like, if I did, I kind of, you know, it went in through one ear and out the other. Yeah. Okay. I try to filter that kind of stuff. I can't think of any outlandish advice right now. What about you? No. I I can't think of none. But, like, it's probably because I don't really talk to that many people about my relationship like that for them to be trying to give me advice. I mean, yeah. I'm kind of antisocial I'm, in a way. No. <laughs> Not you. Yeah, that's how y'all feel? <laughs> and that was one of my goals for this year, but I, I didn't do a good job with that that's one. Crazy. No, I mean, we still be having random people over and stuff. So yeah, you're, I'm, you're tr- I'm okay. still trying. I'm still trying. You're doing okay. But, but yeah. Y- yeah. I'm trying to think of, like, probably the last time people, you know, there's always, like, those showers and stuff where people give advice. I think people usually give advice in bulk around mm-hmm. major times of your life. And that was probably like the the rec- most recent one. But there wasn't anything too crazy. I feel like family actually gives a lot of like crazy advice that I'm just like, that's not what, we're not, what yeah. I'm going to do. Yeah, <laughs> like, my mom gives the worst nah. advice. So then what are the three... What are three pieces of good advice and three pieces of bad advice that you've received regarding your marriage or marriage overall? Hmm. Or if you don't recall that, what are three positive things and three, eh, you can leave behind things that you've learned from your parents' relationships. Three? Or mix them if you don't want to right. be too too deep well one it wasn't like terrible advice but one thing like someone in my family told me i'm not gonna put them on blast but was um don't ever accept food from your mother-in-law oh my god <laughs> yeah that was trash i was like <laughs> you know in hindsight i'm like that was terrible it like was. why it was. That's like one of those, you know, don't buy your man shoes because he's going to walk out of you. Yeah, that's like, it's so one of those. stupid. It's, it's stupid like that. 
Yeah, and taking food from your mom has saved us a lot of times. <laughs> so, she loves to cook too. Yeah. And my mom, you know? Exactly. So, there's days where you just don't want to cook, and they did. So, I'm like, why not? <laughs> okay. yeah. But yeah, it was just, it was petty, and it it's, was. it's not good advice. Um, I think one good piece of advice the person gave me, and it was an interesting person, but uh, it was very generic too. He said, um, in short, to protect your marriage, like kind of how we talked about it. It's like, don't let too many people be involved in your marriage and have say so. Um, it is something that I feel like we already knew, but definitely being married now, I see the importance of that. Mm-hmm. So I definitely think protecting our marriage is key. So that was that was some good advice. And I think this is, um, I mean, this is still along the lines of petty but it was good advice that I heard someone give to someone else at their wedding shower. And I was like, that's cute. I'm going to stick with that. Um, even though that's never been like an issue for me, they said, don't worry about him leaving the toilet seat up. Put it up for him or something like what? that. It was like, it was so stupid. <laughs> something stupid like <laughs> Like, <laughs> because some people really did. And we went to a wedding one time, and at the table, people were like, nah, you could really get into arguments about people leaving the toilet seat oh. up. And I'm like, for real? Really? Like, that is wild. I is thought that was just a TV thing. Like, but yeah, Martin episode. Really? <laughs> and you flip it. I was like, y'all really be stressing about this? Like, nice. you grown. Put the seat down. I don't know. So I, can't I, just, I almost messed myself up one day doing that, though. What? I definitely almost fell in one day. <laughs> 100%. Huh? So you fell in because of your own Yeah, self. I, almost, okay. I was mad at me. I was like, why can't you put the seat down? But I've never been mad about that. Like, Yeah, because I usually put enough. the seat down. If I'm alert enough to walk to the toilet... I am alert enough to put the yeah. seat down. But anyway, I, I give people that advice because I think it's corny and useful. And cute. Okay. <laughs> That's cute. Yeah. Any, um, any other good advice? Or something good that you've gleaned from your parents' relationship? I don't know. Just pick one. And from my parents' relationship, I, I just feel like my mom is... And I was telling you this the other day. Mm. I just feel like my mom is the like one of the best examples of submission and i know that's like a really hard word for a lot of people but i don't know how she did it like i don't know so i just always look to her as far as like you know how to serve your mate even if they're not the best or like even if they are the best at that moment Mm -hmm. and like what that looks like and not raising your voice, just like different stuff. So that's that was a good example, I think. <laughs> you were saying the other day that like your dad made you a good husband. Yes. <laughs> Wait, what did he? <laughs> what did he do? <laughs> Don't see Jackie's. But you did. You said that. It's just the context. Yes. So I mean, you ain't got to give it all, but yeah, I, mean, I we feel had a like... conversation. Through watching, and just anyone, because you, you learn in proximity. I learned what to do and what not to do in relationship, and yes. I feel like yes, I feel like I learned. You know, sometimes people have to make mistakes, and I learned from. I didn't have to learn from my own mistakes. I learned from other people's mistakes too. Yeah. So I've seen where things can go right and where things can go wrong. Um, Nobody relationship perfect, yeah. But but you can learn. You don't have to make those same mistakes. You can see the consequences of somebody else's actions and apply it to your own life, um, whether that's good or bad. And I feel like that's what I did through my through my dad, because you know, good, bad, and different. He was there, um, so it it was somewhere I could look to that was close by. I didn't have to go to my neighbor house. I didn't have to watch my coach. Like, I could look at home from what was going on at home and learn, you know, you can you can pick up stuff just by watching. And if you're attentive, you can you can figure it out. Like, OK, if you do that, this is what happens. If you do this, this will happen. Like, and that could be good or bad, but you should try to learn from it because that's what you use people for. Sometimes you don't have to bump your head. Let them do it and learn from it. So do you think that 
those lessons that you've learned are why you guys are so successful because you didn't have to learn them with each other or others? I mean, I think we're still learning stuff from each other and from others. Like, it, it doesn't end. Yeah. <laughs> no, like, like I mean, the, the most unsavory parts of relationships that you were surrounded by. Yeah, I feel like, and that's something I feel like me and Nick talk about a lot. Um, it's just the constant Eddie. having a, a healthy fear of yourself. That's it, Eddie. Uh, Eddie. Having a healthy fear of yourself and knowing that don't think you're above anything or something can't happen to you or you can't fall into a certain lifestyle. Like, mm-hmm. I, if you constantly keep that in your mind, I feel like it keeps you more aware of it and you're not like surprised by things. So, yeah, I feel like, yeah, it definitely helped. Um, it definitely helped me because it just gave me a standard to go by or something to look at and base it off of. Like, like I said, like I learned from watching like certain reactions, certain actions cause certain reactions. Yeah. And if you don't want to go through that, then you should you should be wary of that. You should because I, I could see it from both points. I could see what happens if my mom did something that made my dad mad, how he felt and vice versa like and i took all of that into account um and to never think that could never happen to me if uh, i constantly think you know if i don't watch myself now that could be me yeah and i'm open to to that possibility it's like looking at the steps that got whoever whatever couple you're looking at where they are whether good or bad like there are some couples that are like at our church that are really eh, not really old but they're older than us and they seem to be happy you know you don't know what happens in people's houses but they seem to be happy they do everything together they have lives you know apart from each other as well and stuff and then you're thinking okay how did this happen but then there are other couples that maybe they got divorced or you know it got messy once the kids left or whatever and you're just like at some point they had to have liked each other, right? Like, so what happened? And then you're just thinking about the steps in your mind, you know, as to what could have gotten them there and that you don't want to be there. Okay. I appreciate that. (laughs) I could could definitely see that in you guys and how you interact with each other. So then moving on from there, um, (laughs) do you think, what? No, I'm just trying. <laughs> do you think it's important to learn each other's hobbies or to kind of have an understanding of what the other one is into? <laughs> and, uh, important. Uh, oh, yes. Yeah, I think it's important, you know, because it's going to seep into your life. Yeah. Like, I don't know nothing about basketball. Like, I mean, I do now, I guess. But I didn't know anything about basketball. And now... I could be upset when the ref, you know, yeah. is acting crazy because I get it. And I can actually have conversations with you after the game. Like, why did you even put this, you know, I feel bad. <laughs> no, a lot of the that. players. Yeah, yeah, don't say nobody name. Some of the players listen. Yeah. But I'll be like, why you put this kid in? Like, <laughs> yeah. why? And if you think she's talking about you, she is. I probably am. Sorry. I like you guys, though. Um, but. <laughs> um, but no, it's true, though, because. I feel like it's important because if I know it's important to Jackie, then little things make more sense. Or if Jackie didn't understand why basketball was important to me, I think my schedule would annoy her to no end or it would cause friction. Um, And just like her, you know, her sewing and everything. If I didn't understand why it was so important, then like those nights when she's up late or I got people walking in and out of my house for alterations. <laughs> like that could cause friction in our relationship. Yeah. Um, but because I'm, I'm not like involved, involved. But I, and I would like to be more involved. That's another thing. I would like to be more involved. Um, I feel like it just, it's less of a hurt thing. So it's more of a we thing, and we can function better that way. Like if she understands, like Jackie now knows. Like if I don't go to basketball practice, we're gonna be trash, right? And she doesn't want to go watch a bad basketball game. Right. Like, it's kind of intertwined at this point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, don't make me leave my house and leave work early and all this stuff to watch y'all play. 
and then y'all lose. Like, yeah. you have, you know. <laughs> it matters, like, though. It, it matters. does. Like, don't, you know, you have my husband outside of the house for however many, you know, hours. Yeah, let's Let's it. play a good game. Get let's to it. Let's go somewhere. Like, you so. know. And he'll even ask me about, like, sewing things that I'm like, why, you know. Like, I'll think about it, and I'm like, why do you even know about this? Like, you how know? to put a zipper in or, like, seam allowance. Like, why are you asking? But it just meshes together. Yeah. I, I appreciate that. I think that I think it's important because if it's if it's important to me, even if it's not as important to you, yeah. it's not, if yeah. you wow. <laughs> if you at least like, you know, ask like, hey, well, how was the game? Or, you know, how was something that you just show some type of interest It's like, oh, I'm glad you asked. Yeah. Well, yeah. Let me share then, with you. But but in the same breath, I will say there are some things I want to myself. Yeah, I don't I'm watch. So glad you said that. Like I don't watch like NBA games. Is that what you call it? NBA See, games? Look at the I don't watch those games with him. I'm like sorry, for what? what? <laughs> like I, think I don't it's watch called the NBA. It, no, I know it's called the NBA, but. How do you use that in a sentence? Like, um, I don't watch professional basketball. Yeah. Right? And I'm not watching Fashion Week. Okay. You don't watch Fashion Week. Oh, my God. But, okay. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, I'm not watching that with you. Because for what? Like, I'm not going to sit there and pretend that I care. But I will watch you coach yeah. a game. It's not the same. It's not the same. Yeah. So, like, yeah. I feel like that's healthy. Super healthy to have... You know, some some type of activity or whatever that I can do on my own or with my friends. Um, and it doesn't have to be like a group effort uh, to just enjoy time with other people. Yeah. Or myself. Right. Some. That's so I feel like yeah. having some me time or some some guy time and stuff is, yeah. is clutch. Or I'll like, you know, walk by while he's playing 2K or something like that. <laughs> and I know what's going on. Like, I'll know the storyline, but I don't stay and like play with him. Okay. Yeah. Like, that, nah. that would be weird. No, nah, it wouldn't be weird. It would be weird. Okay. At least you said. <laughs> no, but I feel you. Because I was actually, since you guys were going that route, I was going to ask, is there such a thing as exclusive or individuality in terms of the activities you do? Like, are there some activities that are no couples, just me? Yes. Yeah. And so the answer is yes. Yeah. yeah, and there's just like certain times like I don't need Jackie to come to my practice, um, just because it's you know close practice. Like some things don't need the public's eye or whatever. I like, don't. I don't want to be there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> and like I don't have to be here to watch to learn how you know a bra is is, is designed or made. Right. Just show me when you're done, and then we'll go from there or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Um. So yeah, I, th- I think just getting the way of having your own time is. Yeah. Key. Because one could go crazy. Yeah. I mean, even like working out, like we tried that whole thing we're together. Terrible. No. Like I work out a certain way. He works out. A, like we just can't do that. We can't. But, but we do go on like our, our weekly walk <laughs> yes, together. we walk together. Or like this week we swam. That was fun. So like just different stuff. But like even grocery shopping. I hate grocery shopping, but I would rather do it alone. I can't go grocery shop with Jackie. No. She won't let me. Why? No. Because <laughs> him and London are similar in that way that, like, they're very captivated by different things <laughs> on yeah, the show. I love, like, the grocery shopping. You know what? Process. You're the same. You're the same. Like, I think it's just Growing a your family not. thing. Yeah, like, because, because let's try TV. this. Yeah, this Jackie has her list. Yes, I have if a If it's not on the list, list, you can't buy it. No. Me? Oh, look at that. I've never seen that. Oh, let's get this. Nah, Jackie's yeah, not dragon having fruit it. juice. So yeah. <laughs> so I've learned it's something we just can't do together. Yeah, it's if it's not a part of the meal prep, it's not gonna be in the fridge. Like yeah, that I know, Jackie. Yeah, she's like, oh, let me see if I. We tried, you know, we we wanted to be that couple. Like yeah, yeah we go, we do everything. No, nah, not gonna be able to do it. Boss. I know. I do think that's a little od to do the grocery so, shopping together. Yeah. I mean. If it works for you and that's your bonding nope. thing. I feel like even when we have kids or whatever, I'm going to go by myself. Like, no. that's going to be... Uh, I don't know about that. I need my time. I think she no. will. Like, I don't think she will. Because yes, Jackie is the queen of let me teach you a lesson, right? No. And I I'll can teach still you see home. her being like, 
This is a papaya. <laughs> oh, she's I that could teach guy. you at home. Yeah, but she's that guy. Still. This is how you read the label. Here, this I is how you, you tell if it's ripe. You <laughs> see? Okay, you pick up 14 limes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> start counting. No. That's you. <laughs> I've done it. That's you. I know. London knows how to pick out a lime. I'm happy for her. <laughs> She knows what to look for. I think that's convenience. That's not a lesson. <laughs> but that's just my personal opinion. Yeah, because she it gets her involved. She gets to be one with nature. This is yeah. not as close to nature. One with nature. <laughs> and then she can have that as like, she'll remember growing up, I used to go shopping with my mom. Yeah. In a fun way. And not the way that I used to go shopping with my I mom. I guess. But at the same time, it's important. Because then in like, well, I'd say like four years... Judy could just send London to say, hey, go exactly. give me some limes. Yeah. London, I need limes. And Judy's she exactly what sowing the seed right now. I see it. <laughs> Let me be great. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So just for time's sake, i give you two more questions. Oh, man. Yeah. Okay. Pick, pick your best two. Okay. Is there such thing as privacy? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let's take a long time I'm going to say, for me. I'm going to let Jackie go first. How do you feel about going through the phone? Well, let me ask. Oh, okay. Yeah. That, you talking See, about that. Those are easy answers. Because yeah, I was going to say, yes. yes and that's no. one of the things. Can I was going to say, yes, there is a such thing as privacy. But no, at the same time. Like, there are times when, you know, I'm in the bathroom doing my lady things that I don't need for him to see. But at the same time, it's like. Where's the privacy? Like, this is your bathroom, too. So, you're going to see me shave. You're going to see me shave. Like, it is what it is. I would prefer you not. But at this point, what difference does it make? Yeah, you can't hide. The bathroom ain't but so big. Yeah. But, like, the phone and stuff, I mean, we've been got over that. Yeah. Before we were married, I think. Yeah, that's, there's, I mean, there's really no privacy. Yeah. But then again, we don't really go through each other's phones. But if my phone is on the counter and you feel like using it for whatever reason... Go ahead. Yeah. But you've been through my phone before, but I feel like we've grown since then. Yeah, yeah. That was pre-marriage. Yeah. yeah. Pre-marital days, I would go through your phone. 100%. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, then- and I definitely believed in privacy back then. <laughs> yes. Gross. <laughs> so, so, can I ask you one more question and then a bonus question? All right, man. Oh, okay, sure. okay. Let's go. Let me be great. So... <laughs> What kind of boundaries have you set to protect your marriage? Mm-hmm. You looking at me like yeah. that? Yeah, I'm, I'm not saying. I don't know. I don't. I feel like we're pretty much in unison about the things that we talk about with other people, or if we do talk about something with somebody else, we tell each other, so it's no surprise. Like, hey, so and so knows this. Yeah. Or like, I found out. I'm like, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Like, if it if. If I did have like a heavy conversation with a friend or something that maybe I know is going through what I'm going through or whatever, then I'll let him know. Like, hey, this friend, we had yeah. this conversation, <laughs> just so you know. Like, yeah. And it's not like this friend is going to tell you, like, hey, I heard, da da da. It's just, yeah. no, like, just so you know who knows. Yeah, my when business. I see them, I, I know you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then, so what was the question? Boundaries? boundaries. What boundaries have you set to protect your marriage? I think another one uh, that's low key. That's me. That's low key. Um, been set in our marriage. Uh, people of the opposite sex. Uh, I we don't communicate with them after a certain time. Um, at yeah. least on in a one on one situation. Like if we're all out together, like once the clock strikes nine, like I won't stop talking to you. <laughs> but but it is like a respect thing like i don't you know what is really that important that i need to be talking about with somebody else yeah of the opposite this late or whatever you know just i mean honestly i don't really talk to anybody no matter what gender after a certain time yeah like because you're sleeping I, huh because you're sleeping Cause, yeah i'm tired or pre-sleep. i'm about to go to bed or i am in bed i'm watching my show like whatever yeah. it is like I, I could be you know DMing okay because I told you about something that could possibly happen okay, yeah, yeah, with the yeah, podcast. Yeah. Um, and this person also has a podcast, but like I was you know throughout the day kind of laughing at each other's stories type thing, mm. and like oh yeah we should do da da da, 
But then if you um, DM me after like, I don't know, 9 o'clock, 8.30, I'm going to see it. But I'm going to be like, oh, okay, cool. I'll just respond tomorrow. Yeah. Like, it don't have to be yeah. nothing. Yeah, so stuff like that. Yeah. Like, and I'm not. And it's not even like that big of a deal. But Yeah, and that's if gross. Because I don't. Yes. I don't. But if you see, if you look at my phone and you see, oh, you was talking to such and such at 10 p.m. Like for yeah. what? <laughs> but I'm not even that stuff doesn't bother bad. me. Yeah, it just looks. But yeah. I, even that doesn't bother me, and that's gross. Uh, I know it doesn't bother you, but it looks bad. I feel you. Yeah. Oh, it took me some time to get here, but I'm here now. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> well, thank you for coming. We appreciate you. Appreciate it. All right. So then, the last question, the bonus question, the fun question yeah. is. What TV couple are you closest oh, to being like? Are you oh, Martin no. and Gina? Are you Mr. and Mrs. Huxtable? I haven't seen huh. Martin in a while. Yeah. We're definitely not Are you Huxtables. Will and one of his girls? 100% not Huxtables. We're not Will. You're not and the Huxtables? what you call it? Nia Long? Yeah. Are you Rochelle and... um Julius? Everybody hates Chris. No, I know. Oh. Uh, but there's a little bit of, of that, though. You think I'm cheap like that? You're the cheap one. <laughs> I'm the cheap one. 100% you're the cheap one. There's a little bit of that. There's a little bit of... Is there Martin and Gina? I feel like a little bit of Martin and Gina. Only because we're kind of playful. Yeah. And Are there's a Bernie little Martin? bit... Nah. <laughs> Bernie oh, I have Shout out to Bernie. I don't, I don't really watch Bernie that show. Bernie mm-hmm. But, I mean, we are Auntie and Uncle, so... Yeah. yeah. I don't know. It's a little bit I of feel like I, there's it's a little one, bit of Dwayne and Whitley in there. Dwayne and uh, Whitley. Yeah, it's a little oh, bit yeah. of Dwayne and the Whitley. The bougie light skin one. And <laughs> intellectual. First of all, I'm not light skin, and okay. I'm more black than you. Refer wow. to episode what? whatever that was. <laughs> Jackie's really holding on to this uh, this bad and we got to do the the African ancestry okay. just so we can figure out mm-hmm. how mm-hmm. black you are because you look like you North African. Whatever. <laughs> wow. So. That's terrible. So, so are you Dwayne and Whitley? I think we're Dwayne. like Dwayne and Whitley. Yeah, probably. Yeah, but I'm just not Southern. Yeah, you definitely not leaving me, or are you not? Oh. Cause didn't he get her at the altar? He left. Yeah, no, he she to. left. Remember, she was about to get married, and he came, and he. Whatever. Yeah, but she left the other dude for Dwayne. I know, but you're not gonna leave me for nobody. No, but she left the other dude for Dwayne. Yeah, like, I know. So I would have left another dude for you. That's... I mean, not like the whole series. I know, my bad. <laughs> really we dig into like, deep. Into it. Just we saying, like, it. do you guys have more of the like? I think I think we're more like them, probably. Yeah, I probably if I can figure out a better one, and I'll, I'll say it on the next yeah, podcast. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, I guess. Okay, maybe. Well, thank you for yeah. entertaining me today. <laughs> Appreciate I it. appreciate Thanks your for... being candid and honest about your yeah. answers and yeah. insight into your relationship. So you guys are as perfect as I thought. We're oh really not. <laughs> <laughs> We're really so, not. You just didn't ask the right question. So there was there was nothing. <laughs> there was nothing in there that shocked you. No, no. You should not, ask Jackie. Not really. Uh-huh. I mean, maybe the who you think you're closest to. I thought you guys were like Martin and Gina because you play around so much. I think so. Yeah, it's and a that's little my bit type of, that. of couple. I, I'm a Martin and Gina. It is type a little bit guy. of that though, but I just feel like they're different. I feel like they had a lot of issues. Yeah, they definitely did. But <laughs> they when issues. they were good, they were good. But though. like even their mm. issues, the way they handled them. I mean, Martin left and Najee Ramba and did a whole. <laughs> <laughs> they broke up, but I mean, they still got back together. I don't know. I feel like maybe because like Dwayne and Whitley were like college, college age. age. Yeah, yeah. That's probably why Martin and Gina were already adults. So I say a mixture. Or Uncle Phil in the second aunt bit. No. 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 Definitely trash. not. Yeah, that was trash. <laughs> Never mind. Nah. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. But yeah. Thanks for asking us all these questions. It was my pleasure. Thanks for entertaining. I hope you learned something. I did, because <laughs> you know how I feel about relationships. And I don't I don't feel that I should settle. I feel like there's someone that matches my temperament. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That matches my beliefs yeah. or belief system to a degree. I mean, there's gonna be differences, of course. Of course. But I just I don't feel like you gotta argue with people all day, but you can still disagree. I'm yeah. not gonna raise my voice and you're not gonna raise your voice at me. I know that for sure. Yeah. But I feel like with proper communication, effective conflict resolution. This is the super nanny. In, oh yeah, in no, this is not the out. super nanny. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> I mean, but I mean, with those characteristics, 
relationships work. Yeah. And I feel like you guys have that. Because Jackie, some people say I have road rage. It is to be debated. You 100% have road rage. Some Jackie people. gets mad at other drivers in the most patiently calm voice. <laughs> and that's what prepped me to be like, how do you get mad? Like, do you raise your voice at each other? Are you even capable of yelling? No. That's why I said I Claire Huxtable, because I don't think I've ever seen her raise her voice. Oh, she has. She has? No. Yeah, she's talking about you. Oh, I thought you were here. <laughs> and so that's why I wanted to know. Yeah. But I appreciate it again. But, Thank but you Bill back. was... Bill Huxtable? That was his name in the show? Cliff. Cliff Huxtable. He's Cliff. He was corny, though. He was, 100%. That's yeah. why I could know. Yeah, he yeah, defaulted. I he defaulted yeah. to Mrs. Huxtable, which a lot of families do. Yeah. yeah. And she true. did a fine, fine job. Because <laughs> she got those kids together without having to, uh, you know. Yeah, but comedy's yeah. out of here. Spank them with yeah. another conversation. Well, we will sit here and talk about TV all night. So, yeah. Thank you for asking us all these questions. Yeah, appreciate you. We're not going to have uh, a listener <laughs> no, question. There's no point of listening to question. But um, do send your questions to yeah. Michelle Matters at gmail.com. Different questions. Huh? Yeah. Different questions. So. All right. All right. Let's get into the business spotlight. Yes. Let's test up. Patience down. My heart racing, she's so mad. You live, you learn, your bridges will burn, you play with fire. And today was our reminder. Yesterday, yo, we were just fine. So, this week's business spotlight, or I should say this episode's business spotlight, goes to Creations Beauty Lounge. Um, it's been a while since I got my nails done. But I went to Creations Beauty Lounge. I ended up um, seeing one of my, like one of my, I guess you can call her my friend. Yeah. Somebody I know. Yeah. Posted her nails um, on her Instagram story. And I was like, oh, okay. I mean, that's right there in Miramar. So let me go, right? So I set up an appointment. It was easy breezy. And I set up an appointment with Jessica. And it was amazing. Like, it was probably the best nail experience I've ever had in my life. Yeah? Yes. Because mm. usually you go to the nail salon and you have to wait. You know, on a good day, they'll probably just like, okay, we have an available mm-hmm. chair. But when it's bad, it's bad. Like, yeah. you can wait up to like 50 minutes just for them to call your name. Because oh. everybody wants their nails done. I thought it was like a haircut. Because like my haircut trips are ridiculous, but... That's not that bad. No, to wait for them to call you. I've waited two hours for her to to get into it. I mean, it's nails, it's not hair, mm-hmm. but that's ridiculous. Yeah. To to wait for your name to be called. So anyway, um, I didn't really know what to set up like the appointment for because I don't get my nails done that often. I just do them myself, and um, I called her and she was like, okay. Uh, we'll probably need this much and uh, you know this much time to do this and you want this shape and this color and you want matte and whatever we came up with a little cute minimal design because i like it minimalist though vibe right now um so yeah it was amazing i'm definitely going back and she is on 6142 miramar parkway and you basically just make an appointment through um a vagaro link it's one of those like, you know, apps. Appointment links, yeah, yeah. One of those scheduling apps. And um, as for Jessica, I, there was another name in the in the salon, but Jessica was amazing. So I'm excited to go back. I think you guys should all go there. Um, I haven't gotten a pedicure there, but it just looks really relaxing. It's not like the typical chair that you see that's all like black with the. I don't know, like the massage thing. Mm-hmm. It's more like bohemian looking. I just I that's your vibe. Yeah, yeah, that's my vibe. So I had a great time. Um, I'll link all her stuff below in the you know description and all that stuff. But yeah, check her out. And that's it for this episode. It's, it's kind of like a long one, I think. It is. I mean, we getting trying to through. keep them down, but yeah, another successful episode. Yeah. So. Let us know what you think. Yes. Don't forget, if you have any questions, to email us at michellematters at gmail.com mm-hmm. or link us on any of our socials. But I think that's it. It's a wrap. Yeah. Episode 14 is done. Bye. See you. pull up on you. Then I might swear. Aye. Double off deuce, deuce. Aye. 
that you might work, ayy When I pull up on you, then I might swear, ayy Dribble off deuce, deuce, ayy That you might work, ayy That you might work, that you might work